Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be kidding up a few different projects. I saw this on someone else's channel and I thought, well, I have a few different storage containers. Why not go ahead and try to kit up different ones so I can already have them ready to go once I'm ready to start a new one. Um, this is going to be the first one that I'm going to kit up. Now, I don't mind kitting up. However, if I start to get a little bored with it, I'm gonna go ahead and in the video. I don't know how many will, I'll get done. I could only do two, I could, might do three or four. But after this one, I am going to draw out of my numbers to see which one I'm gonna do next. So, go ahead and get this one started. Um, I did cut the, the legend off of the canvas. I'm gonna see how it works in my sticker maker to see if I can get this to make a sticker for me from the canvas because I was gonna make a copy but I cannot find my printer. I think it's, I packed up some bags and took them back to our storage, or boxes and took them back to our storage. And I'm pretty sure that that printer cord got taken back. So this is what I'm gonna try for today. And it looks like it's gonna work. Um, we'll see if it'll stick to my. Cause this, I don't know. We'll see. This one does have 29 colors. It is a small diamond painting, but since it has 29 colors, I have to use something that I have enough storage for. So these are 28. I need to move my trash from my diamond painting I'm currently, currently working on so I can use the last little, there we go, because I'll need to use one more. Um, all right, so let's see. Where's my scissors? I am going to put this on my masking tape because it does this sticker maker, the sticker, the sticky does leave residue on the containers. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. I also, I can't remember the name of her channel. I know her name is Joan, but I cannot remember the actual name of her channel. But that's who I was watching yesterday who did this and she used the extra sticker paper to cut, or the backing of it to cut her numbers, make it a little bit easier to peel them off. Um, I probably will do a time lapse on this video because I don't know that I'll be able to have enough content or talk to talk about because I am a pretty boring person. As I've said in many videos, I'm homebody. I actually prefer to watch TV while kidding up and diamond painting and doing all that. So I don't do a lot of whip and chats or anything like that because of that reason. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, I don't know why I left the numbers on. I don't use the 1 through 29 number. I only use the symbol. I keep the DMC for unkitting purposes. So it makes it easier. These are really small. I mean, they could have made it a little bit bigger. Is taking forever. Anything that I'm not really talking through, I can speed up on the video or 
uh, I don't want y'all to be too bored, but I thought it would be fun to do a massive kit up and do a video about it. If you are going to watch it and you enjoy it, let me know. Um, because there might be a massive kidding down after <laughs> I finish all the diamond paintings because I'll have to kit them down to kit new ones up. Goodness gracious. I do like my easy one dining paintings because they do have the inventory that comes with it and it makes this so much easier. It's hard to cut because it is the canvas. I think that's the only reason why. So let's see. So this is the way they store in my container, but I have to flip them. It drives me crazy when they're not in the order that I need them to be in. Let's see, I have an A. This might prove to be a little more difficult than a vault. Well, I guess that's a good thing. My, since I kept my numbers, I can either look for the DMC or the actual number. So it's number 833 or number 13, whichever one catches my eye first. I could try to put them in some kind of order here. at the wrong number. I also find that while I'm kidding up and talking, if I'm trying to talk and kid up, it doesn't work for me. Um, I get mixed up. I am a multitasker, but for some reason, I like to try to put numbers in the wrong spot. There we go. So I know I've asked this question before, but what is your least favorite thing about diamond painting? I know some people just do not like kidding up or do not like kidding down, so they just throw their drills away. I actually like the process of all of it, so there we go. Um, and you know, obviously I enjoy actually diamond painting. That's why I wanted to do this, was then I could just, you know, pick up my next project and go. Because <coughs> sometimes, oops, I accidentally grabbed a second. Sometimes you just want to start a project and not kit it up. So this works that I don't have to do that already gonna be done. I can just go in and grab the next one. Let's see. I don't see a C. Oh, but I do see a lowercase a. 
Oh, that stinks. I didn't catch that. I'm gonna switch these or else I'll get confused. But the order that I put them in will help me to know <laughs> what I'm trying to find since their printing is so small. I at least know it's in alphabetical order and then numbers and then symbols. Okay, so let's see. I have a D. I do not have a D. I have an E. So while kitting it up this way takes me just a little bit longer while I'm doing my diamond painting, it's a little bit easier. Where's F? G. Now some of the containers that I, or storage that I have, I can actually move them around after I get them all in the containers. I don't have to do it like I'm having to do this one. Like I have some Harbor Freight containers. Well, they're on their own. So I don't have to sit here and do this. I don't think there's an I, no. J. Okay. Do not see an L. There's an M. And then N. O. I don't think I saw a Q. Nope. No R, no S. T. U, V, W. Seven or no, it's two, five, and six. So there's two, five, six, <coughs> and the rest are symbols, so they don't matter how I put them on there. So this is my um. I just did the unbagging video for this one. It hasn't loaded to the channel. I'm sure it'll load before this video. But I chose to do this cross because I wanted to see the quality. Oh, that's a question mark. I wanted to see the quality of their square drills because I would like to order a large diamond painting. And I'm trying out a few different companies to see who I like their drills from most. Because, I mean, the diamond painting I'm looking at is like in the 50s, and I, I don't want to pay for it if it's got bad drills. <laughs> and it's a large diamond painting, so I don't want to do one that has bad drills. So, that's why I'm going to go ahead and kit this one up and I'm not waiting for it to just come up in my numbers. I have been doing that a little bit because 
I've had to do a couple diamond paintings for certain reasons and I'm back to just doing them for whatever however they come up in my drawing This one does have a lot of bright colors, so it'll be fun to work on. I thought it was a really pretty cross when I saw it, and it's just a little 20 by 30. It's really small, because again, I just wanted it to test out the diamonds, the quality. got the stickers put on it's not taking too long work smarter not harder uh -oh. I got a little careless with that one sorry um, one of my easy win boxes came with a little vacuum. I just don't have any AAA batteries and I keep forgetting to get any to see how it works. For spills. I'll have to remember to get some AAA batteries. Alright, so I'm almost to the end of this one and that doesn't look like I made any mistakes, which is always good. Probably. So this one I'm going to probably go ahead and take up as much as I need to to get them all in here. Hopefully it will only take up these two. I can't believe that it's going to use this many diamonds for the background, but that's going to get really boring. All right, that worked out perfect because I will not start working on this one until I'm finished with this one and I'll just move my trash drills out of here and use this as my trash storage for this one. So that is that one. There's my my little cross on here so I know what it is. And there we go. And we'll put this to the side. I really do like this. I wish the containers were separated. That would make the kitting up easier, but then again, I see why it's not, and I do really, really, really like this. 
like right now there's this is two different projects in here so I can fit usually two or three when I went on the truck with the other half over the summer I was able to get three different diamond diamond paintings in here so it was really nice to have it it's very convenient it was great for traveling um, I like to sit in my recliner so I don't really lose anything there's nothing that's gonna get misplaced um, but I also like other storage ideas too so that's one other reason I wanted to hit up several at one time was because I wanted to utilize some other storage that I've purchased in the past and not just have it sit there go to waste. I'm not, I know a lot of you save these baggies. I have so many. I'm not saving them because they did have um, a sticker on them. So in order to choose my next diamond painting, I'm going to go into my little bag of numbers. Every time I get a diamond painting in, I log it, and then I will give it a number, and I put the number in here so I can choose that to figure out what I'm gonna work on next. And hopefully it helps me to get on, you know, some earlier diamond paintings as well. So this one is number 57. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to put you on hold while I, or I'm going to put you on pause while I go and find it. All right, so number 57 is one of the mystery diamond paintings from Cluo Shop that I got quite some time ago. It's not quite a mystery. As you can see, it is Dumbo in a teacup, which is super cute. I like, I like it a lot. I mean, I guess one mystery about it is I'm not going to really know what the colors of anything is, but it's definitely not a mystery painting. Now, if they had went ahead and covered it with some different paper that maybe wasn't see-through, like even some of the cover paper, you can see your diamond painting through it once you put it on light pads, so I really don't know how to make this an actual mystery diamond painting. I know other companies do it and you really cannot tell. So it's something in the way they printed it that made it to where it's not actually a mystery diamond painting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and cut out this one's really close to the diamond painting, so I'm going to be really careful not to get on there. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, not by much. And there is DMC code as well as the number. And the container, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my Harbor Freights. So these normally have 24 um, pods in them, but somehow I lost one. So this is actually gonna work out perfect. It will, I need to cut out this little mystery question mark here. just so I can put it on my container and know which one I'm working on. Okay. I really am happy that this worked for the sticker paper. Um, I was thinking it might be too thick and that it wouldn't actually work, but it works perfect. accidentally pushed it down in there too far. Okay, I fixed it. Um, 
I think I've said this many, many, many times. I have no clue how this thing works, but it works amazing. And I love it. I like it a lot. Ew, can you get this paper off? It would be nice. have an issue starting tape. It's such a pain. I don't know if I'm working in frame. There we go. And again, this sticky leaves residue even on Harbor Freight containers leaves it on everything. So I try to remember to go ahead and put it on masking tape. residue on my table just from the little from the paper it left a residue on my table so with Harbor Freight this is what I was meaning why I can just go ahead and put my label on my oops put my label on my container and then I can organize it once I get everything in there. I don't want to lose this. Uh, I haven't used Harbor Freight in a while so I gotta remember how I liked my container sitting. I think I wanted it on their side. This canvas is a lot thicker than the other one. I wish I had some different scissors. Yes, I'm concentrating very hard. <laughs> I don't want to cut through the whole paper because then it makes it hard just to get your label off and this is just an easier way to get it off. I think this part takes the longest. So I think today I have learned I have 245 diamond paintings logged into my book. I have no idea how many I've actually completed or anything. I need to go through and count because I started using Gemflow to keep track of time and how long it takes me to work on a diamond painting. Not that I really am in any hurry or anything. It's just I like to know how long it's I've been working on that project. Um, so I can go in and change it to completed so I can look and see what I have completed and get a count. Now, I started diamond painting, I think it was in August of last year. I had purchased a diamond painting a really long time ago. Um, I think I saw it on Facebook. Like. Oh gosh, it had to have been four or five years ago, and I never actually did it. It came in the mail, and I looked at it like, what is this? This is not really what I was... I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to do it, anything. I didn't even 
pull it out of the, I don't know. I never did it. Anyways, I think it's in my stash now though. The very first one I purchased was a giraffe. So I actually don't think I have that one, but I had one of the little kids at a water fountain. I don't even remember buying it. So um, I gave that one to one of my mom's friends who wanted to try diamond painting. So it was just a partial. So I thought, oh, I'm never gonna do this. So I let her take that one home and try it. And she actually really enjoyed doing them. So I think she's started purchasing them on her own. And my mom and I, well, my mom had been going with a, a, to a quilt group. Okay, some of these stickers are not, yeah, that's not sticking. Um... So she had been in a quilt group and I used to go with her because I did quilt with her. And then I, I moved away from Colorado and so I stopped working on quilts. But when I go, if they're having a quilt day, I will go with them because they're my mom's friends and I made friends with them too. They're really nice ladies and I, one of them has started bringing her diamond paintings to quilt day instead of quilting. So I converted her, I don't know what I am doing here. I'm gonna have to grab some, oh, here's some scotch tape. Because this sticker did not stick. I don't know what I was thinking and how that was gonna work, but yeah. Sometimes when it's late at night, your brain doesn't function. So there we go. So I guess since this canvas was just a little bit thicker, some of them didn't actually stick to the... I think we're good. The masking tape. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how that sticker maker works, so it's... Maybe it was because it was in the middle and I didn't, maybe I didn't push it down hard enough before I removed the outer paper, but we got it, got it to stick on with some regular old scotch tape. Oh. Some of them aren't coming off on my masking tape, so I'm just going to take my chances. I know I can get some, that one's not sticky. I think you can use alcohol or, I don't have any gooby gone, but I'm sure that would work too, to get the residue off if there is any residue. I'm the one that isn't sticking to my masking tape. Once you get your labeling done, the pouring of the drills in there is nothing. It's, that's easy. <coughs> the only issue I'm going to have is where am I going to store these until they're actually being worked on? So that's what I am working on. I do have one of my storage um, cubes that it was diamond painting, diamond painted. I think that's where I'm going to put all of my storage containers inside there that are completed. Um, and then I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put all my the diamond paintings. I might just hang them up on a hanger. Okay. 
kind of excited. Maybe I'll get some diamond paintings done a little bit faster. Right now I'm just gonna put these in numerical order. And then once I get all of them filled, I will go back in and arrange them in the order that I want them to be in. Paper came from. I'm going to, again, work smarter, not harder. Just in case I make a mess, they'll fall into my drill. Ouch, my um tray. I'm trying to make sure that I'm still in camera as well. Sorry for any of you that don't like all the plasticky noise. There isn't a whole lot I can do about it. It's just the nature of the beast. So one thing I love about the Harbor Freight containers is that you can fit a lot of stuff in there and then they're separated, which is nice. So that's two things. The one thing I don't like is the drills get stuck up in the lid. Um, and every now and then I'll forget and I'll just kind of go everywhere. And, but most of the time if you just tap the top of it, they'll kind of fall out of the lid and go back to where they go. I didn't realize this was a square diamond painting until I started pulling the drills out. Now, I don't think I can fit two, I don't know, we'll see, maybe. Um, it's gonna be close, I'm gonna try. So we can fit two of those containers, just cannot fit three. So hopefully the most I have is two of one color, which I think I see a couple that have two. I don't see anything that can stand in out to me that has three, see? Put that drill tray there for a reason. There we go, got a little hitchhiker in there. You can stay in there. When you get going quickly, it's you tend to make those mistakes. hoping to be able to do more videos. I do enjoy the, doing videos and unbaggings and everything. Um, I took a little hiatus there because we were in an RV and didn't really have the storage room to store everything. So now that we're in the house, I have a little bit more space. So maybe I can start ordering diamond paintings again and doing more and baggings again because they are really fun um, sometimes the buying is just as fun as the doing currently I believe I have all orders that I have placed and they have been delivered and I've caught up on doing the videos for them. I just, they just haven't all gone on the channel just yet. I have a few that are posted for dates ahead and then a few I still have to do editing for. By the time you see this one, you'll probably see all the ones that I've already done because this one, is the last in the line. Um, 
I can tell you I got my January Easy Win box today or yesterday. I don't remember what day it was now. And uh, today is the 22nd. I wasn't too impressed with my January box. It's like they have three really good boxes in a row. I liked all three of those. And they fell short on the January box. I did up my subscription, so now I'm going to get the bigger box. At least for one month, I may go back down to the smallest box again. It's just the extra crafts, they don't do it for me sometimes. I mean, I like some of the things one thing I got in my January and then there's two things in there that I just won't do and it's kind of like it's a waste of money I didn't pay $50 for basically three diamond painting things that I'll actually do so it's kind of like do I really want to keep doing this because I could take the $50 and go and place a couple orders on different websites and get diamond paintings I know I would do but then it takes the fun away from getting the box and getting to look through it and show it, do a video on it and you guys get to see what it is too. And I don't know, I haven't decided. We'll see, we'll keep going maybe a couple more months and then make a decision. I think I said that one time and they ended up giving me a couple good boxes again and I stuck with it <laughs> so maybe cross my fingers that's what happens this time this seemed just a little bit more than that was close I spilled some but it is really to the tip top of this container that's okay it closes it's all that matters I was gonna say if you have any company out there that you would like to know the quality of their purchase or their diamond paintings leave me a comment of a company that you'd like me to try I do mostly budget friendly I'm I like diamond art club there they do have nice quality but I don't want to spend the money on that um, I will spend the money on something that I really like and I know I'm going to put up on my walls, but if it's just going to go in a portfolio, I'm not going to spend that much money. And I know I like doing larger diamond paintings, but that's all I really see on their website. I haven't looked lately, but I don't like doing large diamond paintings all the time. So if you do have a company out there that you would like me to review, please leave a comment and I will look into it. Even if it's one I've already done in the past and it's been a while, I might go ahead and order from them again um, just to let you guys know what the quality is and do an unbagging for you. So please, please let me know in the comments if you would. I like to view, see a certain company. And this is the last one. Hopefully they will all fit. Um, these were really full and they're not going to fit. Oh no, stop. So, I'm going to have to put them back in one of these. And I'll just tape it shut and when I need it all it'll fit in the container so that's good these are a lot of pretty colors in here um, now that I'm looking at it it's very bright I'm trying to see what color Dumbo might be I 
can only concentrate on one thing at a time. Hold on, and I'll see if I can. I guess he's gonna be A, S, maybe K. I'm guessing this is the background color. Or maybe that's the Dumbo color. Oh, okay. He's light. Um, that's gonna be weird. Cause Dumbo's like gray. So I thought it was gonna be like this color. <laughs> oh well, we'll have to see how it comes out. Maybe with the other colors around it, it won't look so white. I know sometimes that color takes on the other hues of other colors. All right, so this is diamond painting number two. I'm gonna put, if I can get a label off, I'm gonna put number two here, just so, because there's obviously not a picture, that way I know which one this goes with. Um, or maybe I should just put number 57, because that's what my, okay. See, here I am talking to y'all about stickers leaving residue, and I just put that straight on there. That one actually didn't leave a residue. So I'm going to put 57 on this label, so I know which one it is. And it doesn't get misplaced or anything. All right, um, let's see. I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to do this over here. So I don't start making a mess on my table. All right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and draw another one. I'm feeling okay. Let's go ahead and hit up another one. Um, if this video gets to be way too long, well, I will just time lapse it and get through number 94. That's very funny because I was arranging my diamond paintings. I'll tell you the story in a minute. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this, and while I'm kidding it up, I'll tell you the story. So, this is number 94 in my inventory. I was doing this as a Christmas gift. And honestly, I'm so shocked that I actually drew this for it. Because um, obviously I'm not going to go through my bag and just find the number. So I'm really surprised I've already come across the number. But I'll tell you the other story about what I thought I was looking for. But that was number 94, so I'm going to draw another one. And it is... Number 108. I'll be right back. All right, I found number 108. Finally. Um, this is from You Are Best Hills. So welcome. Whew. Sorry, I had to search this one out. Um, this one's such a small diamond painting. It says it's a 30 by 30. It's only got 19 colors, and it looks like there's, n oh, we have DMC codes on the packaging, but not, so this is going to take me just a little bit longer because I will be writing down, I think I'm going to put on pause and write down all the DMC codes before I start unpackaging and forget that I need to do that. Um... So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now I got that done. I just did on my little logbook. I wrote down the DMC numbers. So once I go to unkit this, I'll be able to unkit it. So again, I'm going to cut off. If I did have my printer, I would just go ahead and make a copy, but I'm just do it this way. At least these numbers, symbols are a lot bigger. 
the canvas is pretty thick. So I will make sure I'm pushing the sticker paper down really well. Make sure it adheres to everything. If not, then I'll just use the scotch tape like I did on the last one. I'm almost out of sticker paper and I do have a refill, thank goodness. I'm trying to not waste any any of it. I'm just gonna go and because it does say to rub it and then peel it. Like I said though, I hadn't I mean Whoever came up with this is genius because it works perfect. It's a great tool for diamond painting and I'm sure any kind of other craft that you need to label stuff with, it works really great. Hopefully this gives you ideas of ways for you to kit up your diamond paintings. Um, as well or maybe you just like to watch these videos to while you're kidding up um, but hopefully you find it helpful maybe entertaining I don't know I don't really have a whole lot to talk about so maybe it's not very entertaining after all my cat's up here, so she's going to say hello probably in a second. I don't know if she's in this shot yet, but, um, so I'm going to use this because it is a small diamond painting. These are my least favorite out of all the containers, my least favorite, but I do have, I don't know, I think I had seven of them because I have four of them storing my crystal and special shape diamonds so um let's see I don't yeah I have to make sure they're all the way I want them to be because otherwise they'll be upside down and it'll drive me a little bit crazy there we go and I will have to put them in the order uh oh I need my paper so I can cut them right. Maybe you learned something different that you can use for your kidding up as well. Oh, yeah, this canvas is real thick. So, <laughs> I don't want to cut all the way through. I need some really sharp scissors. Oh, yep, cut through. I'm gonna have to do what I did and move the my tape over just a little, all the way to the end. Maybe that'll help me. Since my scissors are just like little Dollar Tree scissors, they're not very sharp, so once I get through that canvas it's like oh I'm gonna cut really easy now <laughs> so there we go we got it all right and this one I'm glad I kept the number on there because it'll make it easier I guess there's no reason not to keep the number on there now that I'm thinking about it, unless you've got a really small space you're trying to put a label on and it won't fit all of that. But since I don't have a DMC code number, then there's no reason to not have it on there. But it definitely makes it easier to find it while kidding up. There went my kitty. She, um has to be around me all the time. All right, let's see here. I kind of want to, I gotta get you down. You're in my way. 
Um, since these containers are so small, like number five, which is you, it's a lot. And I, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna even fit in two. So I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna have to put them in there as I go, just to make sure I don't need a second uh, container for it. But hopefully it still won't take me too long. Um, usually I would just keep the extras somewhere else, like, um, while I'm working on the diamond painting, but since I'm doing this massive kit up, I, I just don't know what, how I would keep everything in order, like, to make sure I have everything correct and all that. So this is the way I'm going to have to do it. And then if they need an extra container, then I will just put it in an extra container. This one is only 19 colors, so I should have plenty of containers if I need to spill into a second one. Yeah, that's one reason I don't like these either. They're so small. I made a huge mess, but it's okay. See, that one was kind of pushing it. Oh, well, let's just smooth this over here. I missed B. We'll just have a do-over. I like the containers that are separated. So what is everybody's weather like in their area? I'm here in Texas and it's up and down, up and down, so everybody's sick, not sick. It's ridiculous, driving me crazy, but like I can feel myself starting to sniffle. Um, a, B, C, no D, no E, no F, no G, no H, no I, no J, here we go with K. My other half has been home since Thursday night because he was over the road and started not feeling well. So he's trying to get over his sickness to go back out. I think he's going to leave either Monday or Tuesday. Um, and obviously when y'all see this video, it'll be well past that time, but Kitty, stop. Ow. I know a lot of places are getting snow. Uh, I know Colorado got some snow. Colorado's a lot like Texas though. One minute it's snowing, the next minute it's sunshine. Can't make up its mind either. But it is cold here. It's just, I mean, I went outside in my t shirt and pants and flip flops earlier and I was fine, but it, it's chilly. It gets chilly at night. N O P. And we have to have the heater on. Stop. Closed my door again, so my cat's trying to escape. But yeah, the heater on at night, 
I don't really have to have anything on during the day, no AC or anything. Um, about a week ago, I had to turn the air conditioner on. I want to know if you need QR, because when I got home, it was like 78 in the house, and it was just kind of muggy. So I had to get the air flowing to get it cooled down and just, you know, not so yucky. Oh no, I missed Jay. Oh, it was over here. See? I'm telling y'all. Uh, kidding up and try Jay. Getting up and talking is not easy for me. Oh wow. Well. Just bear with me and I'll get this situated. Uh oh. I totally forgot about these two over here. Cat is underneath me. I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to dig at something. Oh, I got some more sticky on my table just a second. Okay. All right. Back to our previously scheduled. I'm glad I saw it now and not when I was finished. Because then I probably would have just stuck it at the end. Oh, I didn't have my tray underneath me. Stuck it at the end and just been confused all the time I was doing the diamond painting. But, there we go. Oh. That sticker one left a lot of sticky on my table. It's driving me crazy. Um. I don't even know what I was talking about before I found this mistake. That's probably the weather. I don't know. I was kind of hoping we would get a notice from our school that we were going to stay closed for another couple days, but <coughs> I don't think that's going to happen. It closed down for Thursday and Friday because we had a lot of employees out and we couldn't keep up with the substitutes. Um, I work in the daycare for the school district and so obviously we were got to close down also. Um, I guess we'll see what happens on Monday and see how the sicknesses go. It's not just due to COVID. It was a, you know, everything is going around right now. It's the flu, the common cold, everything. So a lot of teachers and staff were out. But and even the attendance rate for the students was pretty low. Um. But oh oh oh. I was hoping to get another couple days. I'm telling you, these little tiny containers and me do not get along. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're back. All right, there's no S. Here we have a T. And a U. Oh wait, I should probably make sure I'm gonna... I should have a bit. I have a funnel somewhere, but I feel like it would take longer to use the funnel than just to use the, my drill tray, just dump whatever fell back in there. So U is my big one. So we'll see how many containers it's going to take. I'm gonna just dump it in here. There's one, and two, uh, let's 
let's see. I think I can get all of it into two. They're definitely full, but that's okay. That way I don't have to use another one. stickers were really good they um they don't really leave residue which is nice I just I don't know I really like using my sticker maker because I'm not much of an artist when I have to draw these some of these symbols looks like a kid drawing so I just really like using my sticker maker Um, another thing I did see on the other person, like I said, her name is Joan. Um, I'm not going to use that box. Um, she had double-sided tape that she was, you know, she cut off her legend. I would only do it if there was one. If you got, if you use your legend like that, I don't use my legend. So it wouldn't matter if there was only one, I could still cut it off. But anyways, she was using double-sided tape, so she would cut her legend, use the double-sided tape and instead of having to draw as well. So there's a tip for you guys if you don't have the best writing or drawing capabilities, then you could still cut off your, and you don't have a sticker maker. You could still use the same concept with double-sided tape and your canvas. I am going to take this one down, otherwise it's going to drive me nuts. And we don't have any numbers, so we'll just go on to our symbols. thank Joan for her little while I was watching her video and saw what she was doing with that I thought oh that's neat I don't have any double-sided tape that would work it's, I don't have any that's big enough so it just wouldn't work I mean if I chose another small diamond painting that was maybe I have a lot that are just special drills I could actually kit up another diamond painting in here. We'll see if that happens. I mean, eh, I probably wouldn't do it though because I would only have seven. I don't think there's a diamond painting out there that's only seven numbers or seven colors that would fit in those containers. So no, this one will be put away because I won't be able to use it. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the first one and I already put them in there. I thought I lost a package. Well, shoot. At least I was prepared with my drill tray underneath. This drill tray had the little pencil holder on the side or a drill pin holder and it just I have never utilized that so I just broke it off. <laughs> no, come on, fit in here. That one was close. Um honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see. I might as well use this. I don't want to. I don't want to take the chance of running out. I probably don't even need these. But just in case, there we go. Since I have the extras, I'll just move them over. But I can't even see where I would even need to have that many on this diamond painting. 
I don't even see that symbol. It's the percent sign. Let's see. Well, I see some down here. Oh, a little up in here. Yeah, I don't see where I'm going to need all those. That's kind of strange that they gave that many. Oh well. Hopefully I didn't mix something up. I did. Okay. So I mixed up. That makes more sense. The and percent and the percentage. So all I got to do though is switch the label. There we go. That makes more sense because there is more and percent sign or the and whatever that thing's called sign than the percent sign. There still isn't that much. I guess I just decided to give a lot more of that one color. Okay. I'm glad I noticed that because I was a little weird. Okay. We are all completed and kitted up for our welcome. That will be number three for the projects. go ahead and shut this video off. I'm going to continue to kit up. I may go ahead and make another video and see about posting it, but if you guys enjoyed this video, just let me know. Um, because I think it's already been, I can't tell the time on it, but it's been a long time and I don't like doing very long videos. So either that, let me see. Yeah, it's already been an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like. If you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. It won't hurt my feelings. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and help getting to the 500 subscribers for the giveaway. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And I will see you on the next video.